doing our, uh, we're doing our, uh, <coughs> the, uh, shooter, Dietra on the floor, and the thirty in the, in the, uh, in the bath here, and so you'll get to see how this is done. We, we, we cut our pieces, and I'll show you how they go in in just a second, but, uh, you, you mud the floor, you use a, a quarter inch by three eighths trial, and then you, uh, what you do is you spin this around real good. Try to get, a, get an even uh, cut on the floor to start with. Make sure it's you know making good contact. And then we'll trial it all the way across. Turn on my timer. Solid. See back here, had a little spot there too. Okay. You want these ridges standing up straight. down first, make sure you get a good seal against the floor.
here out of my way. We'll, we'll use this right here for the uh, <coughs> for the threshold or the uh, yeah the threshold part right here that we're gonna put on in a minute. And we'll go ahead and get that set there. That looks pretty good. Interlocking, see right here. I've already laid this thing out. We've already cut it, centered it, and all that. So I have marks on both ends, and I also have a couple of shims right here, to keep me exactly where I want to be, centered on the uh, on my, my lines good, and my spacing is good. These are flush. Now what we do, I'm just going to get this on right here. Okay, so just don't barely walk on it, just gently, gently to set it, bed it in. Nice and even. Now the manufacturer says to pull up that edge over there just to make sure that you're getting a good seat in your thin set, but I'm not going to do that because I, I don't like putting air back under there when I've got it squashed down. So, you look pretty good. Right there. I had originally had a line right here, but when I got my uh, my drain line centered exactly where I needed it in the right elevation and everything, it, 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 when I put the piece on, I needed to move over a little bit. That's why you see the mark over here. So you just got to double check everything, and that's why I have the shims here because I know exactly what dimension I want off the wall. And we're in pretty good shape for this. I do believe we're set. I had to trim off about uh, oh three quarters of an inch off the drain side over here, and I cut off about uh, five eighths off the other side, and so that, that made it center up just right. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set our threshold. And I actually cut this end off. They come about five foot long, and I cut that off with just a regular uh, uh, chop saw, and it was fun. We had a nice smooth cut. Not a big mess, but just a really nice cut. So, all right, this part goes down. So what you do here is you, you're doing the same bed thickness. Get it on the first, nice and solid. Okay. Don't worry about the excess on the front because it'll it will uh, <coughs> definitely. Wipe up real easy with it up just right there. Alright, so we'll run, run this up the side right here. That. Can you see that alright? Mm hmm. John, will you give me my two foot level, please, sir? Exactly what I wanted. We got a nice slope going downhill here. And these things already have a, a molded angle going down. If you were trying to bed this in with uh, Portland cement, the old fashioned way, which I've done many times, uh, you, you end up having to you put it in and then later you come back with a sanding block and you sand the heck out of it and it just puts a lot of dust in the air. So this is a really clean application. And 
uh, the, more, the more we do, the more you'll see how easy this is. Not, not the cheapest thing to use, but it does work well. level so it's sloping that way on the edge and that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. That's, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Okay, set this baby right here in. I'm going to flush it up on the outside right here. That way because we'll have tile that comes straight across the front right here. And then the excess you see on the, on the back wall and right here, we're going to pack that in with Portland cement. Right. Now we're not quite level here. Need to come up just a smidgen on this end and down on this end. You definitely want this to be, you want these to be plumb and level. Because if you don't, your shower door is not going to fit in there right. So if it's not, right now is the time to put more mud onto the right side here and make sure that happens. Now, that then needs to come down a little bit. So what we can do is we can... Now you feel, see that vacuum seal? It's, it's stuck. It's stuck real well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this over here for a second. I'm going to put a little bit more mud on this one end because it needs to, needs to be a little higher. You make the perfect amount of mud too. Look at that. Yes, we did. When this sets up, right here on these because the, the excess will go up in these holes right here and I kind of like that you can see where the holes are too on the first one all right let's see what happens here There is that is pretty that gum purple. I like that. Can you see it? Can you, you want to look at it right here? It's okay. I got it. You trust me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So looks like I've got it bedded down pretty good. Remember, keep this thing flush with the face. I'm gonna get me a little piece of wood. To make sure I'm flush. Come out just a little bit. Come out a little bit there. Nice, nice and even. Excess. Get some of that off your, off your 
too loose and you can work. And you just take this right here. You don't want to push too hard. Sure, if I look at it, make sure you've got a full bed, and it is pretty full. <clears throat> and we'll put a little bit right there just to make sure that things. Right here on this, on this edge right here, and we'll go ahead and just put a little in right there. A little right there. Questions? Nope. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright, pretty good. This uh, excess materials out here won't hurt if I that, that if you don't like it, you can always scratch it off. Once, once it dries, you can do whatever you want to with it. Yeah. This edge right here, I'm gonna just I'm going to have to flush it up anyway. My wall is a little bit thicker, but I put corner bead on it, and uh, then this standard four and a half inch. So we'll just flare that out with a little thin set. And won't hurt a thing. Now, if you notice the consistency here. It's not real runny. You, you don't want it to be runny. And you don't have to fill it all the way up on the first try. And then now, before you quit, you want to, have to, since I've been working on it, playing with it, you want to make sure we don't, uh, we haven't moved the, the threshold. So we'll check it. Like a little bit more down, just a hair. It's about as perfect as you can get it right there. Alright, pretty flush right there. Pretty flush right there. We get a little buildup over here. That's good. Take a little of that off right there. Drooping just a hair. Okay. Alright, tomorrow. This will be hard as a rock. You can walk on it, you can do anything to it you want to. And it's uh, in good shape. So.